Welcome to our tutorial about the Style Library. Let's begin by opening the Style Editor. Click on the pencil icon. Currently our filter is set to All Styles. This means we can access the styles contained in the Style Library. For example, I can select from a range of materials in this drop-down menu here. Now let's change the filter to Local Style. Go back to the same material drop-down menu. As you can see, I've only got two materials available, Stainless Steel and Default. The sheet metal rules and unfold rules we created in our previous tutorial can be saved in our part document. But in order to save these new rules to the project library, we're going to need read-write permission, not just read permission, as our title bar indicates. Let's close out of this window. And let's close this window as well. Save changes to part one, no. Now let's click on the projects icon. Here is our current project, my first project. Under the Style Library parameter, Read Only is selected. Let's right-click, and we can choose Yes, Read Only, and No. The Yes option lets us write to the library. If you're working as part of a team, you're going to need to figure out these permissions with your project manager. Read Only, of course, lets you access the library, but not make any changes to it. That's the mode that we were working in previously. The No option makes the Style Library unavailable. We're going to choose Yes, and then let's go ahead and learn how to write to the library. First, let's save our changes here, and done. Let's open a new part document. Go to the Metric tab, and select Sheet Metal Part File in Millimeters. Let's finish the sketch. Go to the Manage tab. Click on Styles Editor. In the window title, we see the annotation Read Write. Now let's expand the rule and unfold branches. Styles filter, let's use all styles. Let's select the default rule and create a new rule. Give it a name, a descriptive name, new underscore millimeters. OK. Let's select a material, stainless steel and save. Now let's create a new sheet metal unfold rule. We'll call it new underscore k factor. OK. And let's change the k factor value to 0 0.4 and click save. Now let's select our new unfold rule. Even though we've saved our new rule, it's still not saved to the library. Let's right click on it and select save to style library. Now let's filter for local styles only. Save edits, yes. The default is gone, but default underscore millimeter and new underscore millimeter are still here. Let's go back to all styles. If I want to delete a rule, I can right click on it and select purge style. Now if we go to local styles, you'll see that we've only got one style available, default underscore millimeters. Let's go to sheet metal unfold. Right-click and select Purge Style. The unfold rule disappears as well. But we can still access them if we filter for all styles because they're written to the style library. Let's check it out. And we're done here. Let's find out where Inventor stores the information we just created. Go to Tools, Application Options, and let's click on the File tab. Design data, styles, etc. Here's the design data folder that styles are saved in. If you open the design data folder, we'll see a file called sheetmetalrules.xml. Let's launch Notepad, and I'm going to drag that XML file into Notepad. Here's the new rule I just created, new underscore millimeters. Our other rule is here too, default underscore millimeters. Up above is default. Working with XML documents is outside of the scope of this tutorial, but let me just point out some interesting tags here. Here's a style start and a style end tag. We can find parameters we chose for this sheet metal rule. Thickness, half a millimeter, bend relief, bend radius equal to thickness, and so on. At first glance, this may look like gibberish, but of course it is not. We can also highlight a style here and delete it right from the XML document. 
If we save this XML document and then restart Inventor, the rule is going to be purged from the library. A caveat here, be very careful if you do this. It's really easy to mess up by deleting an extra tag here or there. Be sure to make an extra copy of the document beforehand. Let's close this document. Save changes, no again. And let's create a new sheet metal part document. Exit the sketch. Sheet metal defaults. Open the style editor. All styles is selected and here are our rules. Now if I go to local styles, we only see default underscore millimeter because that's the active rule. Let's return to all styles. Right click and make new underscore millimeters active. And new underscore millimeter is automatically copied to our part. This concludes our tutorial about the style library.